Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going into Goodwill. This Goodwill is a hit or a miss, but we're gonna go see, cause I wanna look and see if they have any shelving. This one normally does have a lot more furniture in it and I wanna see if they have shelving and stuff for my office for eBay. So let's go look and see what we can buy and sell. Let's go. So I head straight to the back of the store where the furniture and the hard goods are. And this was $24.99 for that desk. It did have some damage on it. And I don't need a desk. I just need shelving. I don't know what this is. Maybe, I don't know. It kind of looks like a magazine rack, but then that top part comes off. So I'm not sure what that was. And this desk is $14.99 or $13.99, but it looks like somebody already bought it because they took that other half off. It was nice. And then that desk for $69.99. Again, it says it looks like somebody already bought that one. All right, now we're in the hard goods. $5.99. I think I'm not sure. To me, it looks like a hobbyist piece, especially on the back. You can tell that it was painted by somebody else and that has an initial on it. And it's heavy. It's probably like six pounds. It's really heavy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it ride. And that's my daughter's baby doll in the buggy. <laughs> Cute little Santa candle. And that's a souvenir plate from Florida. That one doesn't have a price. Oh, it did. It was on the bottom. I couldn't see it. It says it's to keep your brown sugar from clumping, I guess, or getting hard. I don't know. 99 cents. This is like a treasure hunt. <laughs> Sometimes it's just junk. And I thought that was a real baseball, but it was like um, paper mache. 99 cents on this little deer. He's so cute, but he has that chip on his ear. And it kind of looks like it's been repaired. And I do pretty well with figurines. This is a little dish, 99 cents, it's silver plated. I let it ride and I'll do some comps on it later. I like picking up silver pieces as long as they um, have a good sell rate. And that was just a CD holder <laughs> back when we used to listen to CDs in the car. $4.99. If this was not $4.99, I would have picked it up. And I'm looking at that, the base, I don't know what you'd call it, the little hangy part that goes where the ribbon is, because normally they'll put the brand on that little metal clasp, but there was no brand on that. And sometimes if it's not a brand, they'll have um, where it's made. Because I have some that are made in Germany and they say Germany on that little metal clasp. $6.99 on that nutcracker with missing an arm, guys. And it looked like it had a Walmart tag on it. <laughs> I did like this, but he was completely broken off, the little baby bird. I want it for a... <laughs> I want to see how much it is. $6.99. <laughs> I can't. And this poor little bird's broken too, but he's $3.99. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna open it and see. Four ninety nine on this mystery box. I don't know what this is. It's something that lights up. I do put it back and 
close the box how I found it. Looks like a tweezer thing. Little stamps. A toilet seat if y'all need a, a replacement. It was um, $9.99. A little candle. Now, this reminds me of the 90s, but I don't know if they still make this in current stores. I've never seen anything like that before. I will do comps on it. $1.99. It looks in good condition. I do not see a manufacturer tag on it, so I don't know where it came from or the brand. Not, it's like a koozie, but it's all dirty on the inside, like stained. It didn't look like I could get that off. This looks like a bag of, it says Oriental Trading Company, so it's like a little bag of puzzles, is what it looks like, like little fidget toys. Something for, you could have that for like a classroom, that'd be good, but $3.99, it's a lot. Maybe it's not terrible for that giant bag. Did you see, did you see my <laughs> two-year-old pick up the fly swatter? God. Some glitter. And if you see my kids, or my youngest, who's two, if you see her walking around with something... <laughs> through the whole store I let her play with it and then when we go to check out she has to give it to the lady and she's fine with it she doesn't fight me on it or anything she gives it right back and but if I try to take it from her while we're in the store well might as well just leave <laughs> $4.99 on that tree $2.99 on this little cowboy chairs teddy or cowgirl Now, I know Cherish Teddies do not have the resale value, but I'm buying them for personal reasons, for gifts. But I missed that blue and white thing down at the bottom. That was really cute. And I wouldn't have used it for resale. It would have been for personal $6.99 on this ornament and it was broken. $6.99 on this one. I don't know if they're ornaments. They kind of look like it to me. Or maybe they're just figurines. $6.99 on that one. And $6.99 on this one. And this one is broken. I will do comps on them and check them over. See, it's her arm and her hand are missing. That one's a shoe. A little decorative shoe, and it says Southern Belle on it, and it's from Gone with the Wind. And that's a magnet. So you stick them onto each other. Like that. I'll do comps on it and see what we get. Because $6.99 is pretty high for resale, especially from Goodwill. $6.99 on this piece. Are you kidding me? I did like it, though. I don't know what you would use it for. <laughs> it's cute. Some more chairs, teddies. 
the little block ornament, $1.99. Two nine nine on this. It's an Avon. I'm assuming that this piece right here used to have a scent in it because when I was reading the tag, it said lavender smell. So I'm assuming that was just like filled with something, and it has like a porcelain head. It doesn't smell like anything now, though. Some more cherished teddies. I love them. They are so cute. My daughter absolutely loves them. My oldest. $3.99. This one right here. So freaking cute. $3.99. Has little bees. Man, it's so cute. And that was just like some styrofoam on its hiney. It wasn't um wasn't a chip. That's like one of those potpourri things. Hobbies piece right there. Some more cherished teddies. I absolutely love this one. $6.99 it says as is. So I don't know what's wrong with it. Unless I just put it on there just because. I don't know. Again, there's no chips. That's like styrofoam pieces that are on it. $4.99. It makes me sad when I see this large collection here. Because this probably came from one person's house. And she absolutely loved these. You know what I mean? Probably a grandma. But I do know when I've seen original boxes, these were really expensive items. And she had a bunch. A little fake little caterpillar in that little container. Nine nine cents on this little trinket dish. The flower was broken right there, the bottom flower. That's why I put this back. I do well with trinket dishes, especially small like that. But I put it back. Little basket. Cute little sugar dish. Or at least that's what I would call this. No chips or cracks. I mean, you could use it for Q-tips. You could put it in the bathroom. Cotton balls. That'd be cute. You use it for anything you wanted. It doesn't have to be just sugar. Homemade piece. Well, you know, studio piece. $3.99. And anything that's not marked will be $0.99. Cents. And I always do my comps at the end. These say Bennington Square on them. They are quite damaged, so I left them behind. Nine, uh, $1.99 on each of those. $2.99 on this one, and it's a Pottery Barn. I looked for the other cups, because that looks like it would have been a tea set but it was just the teapot, so I left it behind. And that had a big crack at the bottom. $7.99 on this, and it probably came from Walmart. $1.99 on this little decorative plate. And I have some decorative plates that I've had on my store for a year, so I don't pick them up. And these are those like plastic 
They were probably originally from like the Dollar Tree or something for 99 cents and here they're $1.99. This I thought was going to be like a wicker basket, but it's like really heavy metal. It was $4.99. Somebody's little souvenir mug set is all back here. They all say Nicole on them. That one was really dirty. And I know I could have cleaned it with maybe like a magic eraser, but I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> I have so much inventory, I have to be a little bit more picky. I mean, unless it's something I know will sell fast. I do like these. This one looks like wood, like a resin. It was broken on the back or I would have definitely picked this up. So it's a little disappointing. Um, this one's 99 cents and it's more like, um, kind of reminds me of terracotta. It looks to me like it does have some damage, but it's on the back. And there's no brand or markings on it. So I will be having to do some Google Lens to figure it out. That's a little Hershey's metal tin. It's $2.99. Metal tins can do well, but not that one. That one says Henry Company. I think that's what that said. John Henry Company. It's a basket. $2.99. It did need some like more hot glue. Because that looks like it originally was glued in there. I have a lot of... <laughs> I'm very optimistic in today's buggy. $3.99 on that snowman bear. They do have a bread maker. It's eleven ninety nine. I've never used a bread maker, and I've never used a used bread maker. So, nineteen ninety nine. It says as is. And those don't do. They're about nineteen ninety nine resell, and that was already nineteen ninety nine. $6.99 on these utility stocking foot waiter pants. Um, it's new and sealed. I will be doing comps on it because you never know. Alright, and I do see this. It says... PM Italy. The PM means sterling silver. And that's why I picked that up. It was two ninety nine. I have no clue what this is. <laughs> it's something for a cat. We don't have cats or dogs. Um, my daughter is allergic to cats. And um, dogs pretty much do the same. We do have a turtle. Um, a red-eared slider is what we have. And some fish. Not on the same tank. <laughs> a bunch of... This is nice. And there's a dollar ninety nine, no marking on it, so I do put it back. A little Santa Claus basket with a lid, but made in China. 
and they wanted $6.99 for it. So I definitely put this back. All right, so now we're going to head back home, and I will show you what all I picked up. So this is everything that I got today at the store. I did pick up this cherished teddy for resale. I'm going to turn it on so you can see how cute it is. It's so cute. Hold on. It's so cute. It rocks back and forth like it's in the ocean. Um, I did turn the sound down so I don't get a copyright strike. It does sing um, by the sea. So cute. I did pick up the bear for 99 cents. When I Google lensed it, it pulled up other things, but it did not pull up this one. Bears will sell pretty well for me, even if they're not branded. And then $2.99 on this piece. It's pretty large. When I Googled it, it said it was like a, a milk or water. And you, it is says PM Italy and it does need a lot of cleaning but I don't know how to do that so I just leave it alone and I don't want to ruin it so I just leave it alone and I will sell it as is and that's gonna be the end of today's video thank you for watching like and subscribe